If you haven't seen Hillary's America, the latest effort from writer and director Dinesh D'Souza, it is an eye-opening look at the Democratic candidate for president as well as the party that she represents. Take a look at this. Today claimed to be the party of progress. But where's the progress? For blacks, they've created new urban plantations. For Indians, reservations. And for poor immigrants, barrios, ghettos, and slums. They put their voters in there and make sure they stay there. The only progress we see is progress for them. More wealth, more power, more control over America and over our lives. The Clintons are worthy successors of a tradition from Andrew Jackson through Woodrow Wilson. Wow, with me now, author and director of Hillary's America, Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh, I have to tell you, I have seen that twice. And uh, I, my hat's off to you, and, and you know how much I think of that movie, and, and I even have the book, uh, I, I, I read it, and I even, you know, talked to Donald Trump about it. I thought it was an incredible, incredible uh, discussion. And what I don't think most Americans realize is the history of the Democrat Party as it relates to slavery, the taking away of Indian lands, putting Indians on reservations, uh, and as it relates to civil rights in this country. Now, I don't want to get into a long discussion of it, but I want to talk to you about the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. So tell me about those amendments and how they were voted on as it relates to Democrats and Republicans. Well, the 13th Amendment was the amendment that permanently abolished slavery. The Republicans pushed it, the Democrats unanimously, I mean, uh, as a block, opposed it. Uh, but it passed. The 14th Amendment granted equal rights under the law. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, not a single Democrat voted for it. Right. Uh, the Republicans once again got it through. The 15th Amendment was the right to vote. Republicans pushed it through the Democrats again in uniform opposition. Now, why is this important? It's important because Democrats today will claim credit for the civil rights movement of the 1960s, the Civil Rights Act of 64, the Voting Rights Act of 65, but those laws were all based upon constitutional provisions that had been put into the Constitution a hundred years previously by the Republican Party, and their enforcement had been blocked for almost a century by the Democratic Party. So that's why this history is so important. The Democrats to this day claim to be the party of the good guys, of the little guys, of minorities, of women. Now, the real history is that the Democrats blocked women's suffrage. Yeah. They were the party of the Ku Klux Klan. They were the party of but, immigration but, but, but restrictions, forced sterilization. Dinesh, nobody believes that. If you went, if I went out and did my man on the street, not that they're geniuses out there, but I asked them, that everybody would swear on their homes that the Republicans are the ones who are the KKK and all that. Why? Well, the funny thing is that once they see our movie, what the left is now saying is, yes, Dinesh, we admit it, you're right, it's true, but it's ancient history. It's all so long ago. Women's suffrage was a hundred years ago. And I say, wait a minute. We're not just talking about women's suffrage. In the 1960s, chauvinist Democrats tried to kill the Civil Rights Act of 1964 with a gender amendment. It backfired on them. Uh, but all of this is not uh, as far back in the past as you think. And, and the reason it's important to highlight it is it, it shows the Democratic narrative to be a lie, and it strips the moral capital away from, from the Democratic Party. All right, let me ask you then, in, in terms of my, the, the opening statement and the inner cities and the Democrat Party and the issue of crime, and we're going to be going to David Clark, um, what, how is it that the Democrat Party, uh, in terms of your perspective, is continuing the, 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 the crime issue and not creating a safe haven for the minority community? So in, in the book and the movie, I use a controversial phrase. Uh, it's the, the democratic urban plantation. Uh, and the reason I use that phrase is that there are so many chilling similarities between the old slave plantations, the rural plantations that the Democratic Party used to run, uh, and what's going on in the inner cities. Uh, so on the old slave plantations, if you look at what life was like, you had ramshackle dwellings, 
broken families, a lot of illegitimacy, a lot of violence necessary to hold the place together because slavery was based on coercion. You had, everybody had a meager living, you'd get health care for example, but no one ever got ahead. A lot of nihilism, a lot of hopelessness, a lot of despair. Sounds well, like that's today. exactly what you see today, oh, not just for what inner city go. blacks, by the way. Come you see it on break. Dinesh, we'll get